Hey, what's up, Schnell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have a collection update thanks to James at Transylvanian Recordings. And we're going to be blasting one of my favorite Ohio death metal bands ever. Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia, Hell's Headbangers reissue. Word on the grapevine is the last vinyl reissue is going to be the last one for a while. So if you missed the first press, which is right here, I would grab the second press before this is gone. And we're listening to the cassette version on Blood Red, Windowless Shell. I love this cassette. I love this album. Like, right next to Embalmer, one of my favorite Ohio death metal bands, hands down. Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia. If you're a fan of death metal and you've never heard this, um, what the fuck are you doing? For real, you're messing up. That's like an essential slab of death metal, in my opinion. Like, especially if you're a fan of more like brutal death metal, you'll really dig this. But uh, first off, I really like what Transylvania Recordings is doing with these things called crypt, crypt relics. They feature artwork by um, some of the underground's best, and they're just fucking awesome. I think they're just a series of 12 at the moment. I would like to collect these all, because I love trading cards, and these are amazing. Splatter Beast, and it gives you a little bio and whatnot. Everything's numbered. This is number 3 out of 12. I, I'm guessing this is a 12-card set. But a really awesome, like, very 90s skateboard-looking art right there. I love it. This is a Grace 8 from Indonesia. This is a Fendi Daywalker based out of Indonesia. Got like a Lovecraftian squid dude right there. He's one of the ancient ones. I'm not sure which one he is though. But the Dahmer card by uh, Dahmer Art out of Kansas City. Holy shit. One of my favorite artists in extreme music. I legit thought this was uh, Shagoth Kinetics at first, but really, really sick, you know, Lovecraftian. Because, like, this dude's, like, in a space suit and stuff. Like, I don't know. I just picture just some crazy alien landscape. And I also don't play, like, modern video games or anything like that. But that looks like something out of, like, Dead Space or some shit. Super sick. And same here, this looks straight out of Dead Space. And this is a Necro Devourer from Mexico. He was inspired by, like, uh, Vince Locke, it says, video games like Silent Hill, Dead Space. Colored pencils and watercolors are his main uh, preferred medium. Damn. That's an awesome card, too. Remember when 20 bucks spin would like send you, I don't know if they still do, but like, just for example, like here's a five, five all goes west card. Like, you know, they would send you like, like, I remember, I remember Vicky would always send me like cards with like zombies ripping each other apart and stuff. I know I had one hung up, but it's over there somewhere, but it's just I love that type of stuff, and, like, whenever a label goes the extra mile, I think that's rad, and to start, like, an underground, you know, card company, 
that's fucking cool as hell. And lastly, by oozing illustrations, we get some more nottage to Lovecraft with this monstrosity in the sky, these things vomiting, what looks to be some sort of ooze into this chasm, just super sick, and, you know, throw together Cosmic Dread and Body Horror influenced by Clive Barker, Cronenberg, and you get some shit like this, super sick. And these are called Crypt Relics, Transylvanian Recordings, and these are numbered to 12. So I would like to get the whole set, honestly. These are real, I, I love this type of stuff, so hell yeah to Transylvanian Recordings, killing it. And this is a Transylvanian Recordings update, in case you didn't hear me say that. Got a logo sticker, and that's another cool thing. They're always changing up, like, sigils and, like, logos, but the font stays the same. I like that, because it gives you, like, if you want to, you know, put a Transylvania recording sticker on, like, something you own, you have, like, multiple choices of what design you want. Like, on my record player, I know I have, like, one design, my tape deck has another. Like it's just something I think's cool. I think Rusted Winds is on my uh, turntable, and we have some new Evolve stickers. Ink lesions. I love David's artwork, and I love Evolve. The proof is in the pudding, folks. I know I don't have the vinyl. I had the 7 inch, but not the 12 inch. Wait, is there a 12 inch? Why am I drawing a blank? Ho hold on, I'm drawing a blank on something. I know I have an Avolt 7 inch. I'll have to go through there. Sorry. Knock some shit over. But yeah, listen to Evolves. I got a lot of stickers. I got to give these to my guitar player so you can give these out with your orders and shit. All right. So we have six cassette tapes. Whoopsie. And I've honestly only heard one of these. So... I'm very stoked. One I've heard, but like it's been a while. And even with the other one, I should have grabbed the original demo because I've been meaning to go over this for a long time. It's just finally got a copy. Very stoked. Three tracks of just killer California death metal. Oh yeah, we have Malignant with... Uh, so I really like the name of this uh, release, too. Reign of Decrepitude. And this has cover artwork by Lucas Shagoth Kinetics. Nice slime green shell. Artwork by Lucas K. I would love to see that on, like, a 12-inch single. It'd be fucking so cool. But Malignant, keep it brutal, keep it heavy, and keep it simple. Now, I don't know if they changed their style and started adding, like, gnarly solos, but I think that would just make them even better. Like, they're just one of those bands that, like, as soon as I heard their demo, I was like, wow. And, uh... It wasn't the Maggot Stomp, like, CD version. Like, I have the original cassette somewhere here. I forget who put it out. It might have been Grindfather. No, it wasn't Grindfather. I have it, and I've gone over it. So, look for that video if you want to find out a little bit more about Malignant. But this is some killer death metal.
I haven't heard the new material. I've been holding off on this for like a year. So I'm looking forward to getting into it. Malignant. Not malignant C. Not malignant altar. Just malignant. Here's malignant altar. And again, they do have the same artist. Sagoth Kinetics. So I could see somebody making... But that's the thing. No matter what, you win. Because like... First off, good like legit good luck finding the Malignant Altar demo, which I love. Retribution and Jealous Gods. But um, yeah, Malignant and Malignant Altar like there's a big difference in both sound and name and logo, but cover art they do share an artist. But not on the demo. Not to my forget who did the demo art. But the demo art I love. It's very classic. It's just dialed. I'm seeing if it's like next to me. Because I see like some flesh rot, molder, thorn, craven idol, snent, abraded, grave infestation, mortiferum, fumes. Body asphyxiation science. I should have gotten it out in advance. I'm sorry, folks. But let's continue. Did I really just miss? I was gonna say my 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 brain hates my guts. And here we have ceremonial decay, the cres uh the crescent and the cross, which looks to be a tale of the Crusades, just based off. The cover art and the title and whatnot. I've yet to hear any of this. I'm very interested. It just seems something that's going to be pretty gnarly and it's based on real life shit. On April 6, 1453, the Ottoman army. Hey, Bart, dude. Led by Sultan Mahim. The second began a 53-day siege on the uh, Byzantine capital of Constant Constantinople. Emperor Constantine, etc., etc. Okay, so pretty much it's, it's going over, you know. The fall of the Constantinople marked the end of the Roman Empire and is generally regarded as the end of the Middle Ages. This is the story of the Crescent and the Cross. So we have a nice history lesson to go over, and I'm very much looking forward to it. As soon as I saw, like, EEE -E -E recordings, I was like, whoa. And, like, uh, Jason from Stitch and uh, Crown, Bomb Shelter Studios, it's kind of just like, okay, like, Definitely interested. Mixing and mastering at Beastman Audio. So, definitely gonna be stoked to hear this. Defeat the Christian right. That's all I have to say right now. I can't wait to hear this. Vomit Rot with Rotten Vomit. This cover art alone just grabbed my attention like I was in fourth grade. Vomiting Death Metal. I have a feeling I'm going to love this also based on the promo photo. Oh my god. Fucking barbaric death metal. Has someone legitimately captured, aside from torture rack, legit barbaric death? Let's hope so. 
really looking forward to this. It looks like a full length. And I would love to see, and I haven't heard this, but just the artwork alone, I would love to see that on 12 inches. It's glorious cover art. By um, Endless Vast Mysticism, 2021. Vomit Rot with Rotting Vomit. Rotten Vomit, not Rotting. And I like how you get side Rotten. And guess what's on the other side? I like little details like that. And this little, like, festering skull dude. He's just hanging out. Fucking sick. Because you know what that means? Yup. Now, this one is going to be a banger. Like, I can't wait to blast this. I think Extremely Rotten is doing the European release of this. I'm not entirely positive. But uh, Teratoma with uh, Purulent Manifestations. The cover art just looked familiar, and I could have swore I saw it on Extremely Rotten's site. I think they're from Germany. Let me switch uh, sides real fast. Uh, yeah, recorded in some basement in Berlin during the summer of 2021. And six tracks. You know what? Let's put this on real quick. See how cool it is. I have a feeling it's going to be sick. Let's do it. And this is a uh, teratomia with uh, purulent manifestations. All right, this rules already. It, it just, it's not even like three seconds in. It's killer sounding. I'll show you the inside real quick, but here's the regurgitation tape. I got the fucking butte right there. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'll geek out over that all fucking day. Yo, this is a sick it's tortured voices. The song's called Detached from Existence, Nero, Hard Stench, Oceum Inferni, and Corporal Mess. Yo, this is fucking heavy. Hell yeah, James. James has such a good ear for good death metal. Like, I, I pretty much trust, like, anything he puts out, really, honestly. I'm not even fronting. We got two more here. And this one, at, I was looking at the logo, and it just popped in my head where I kind of have seen it before. And this is Sulfuric Hatred with uh, Demo 2021, I think, if I'm remembering my Roman numerals. But that logo looked very familiar. And then I was like, oh, it looks like Pig Blood's logo. But like, so a lot, so many bands have, you know, done the spiky font. So it's all gravy, no big deal. But it was the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, whoa, that looks like, you know, pig's blood. Speaking of pig's blood, yeah. Stygian Black Hand, Gods of War. Such a good fucking record. A Flock Slaughtered. I'm going to throw this on later. Speaking of which. If you ever get a chance to see pig's blood too, do it. They are awesome live. And don't mess with the vocalist. They'll kick your ass. For real. <laughs> but we have 
Sulfuric Hatred. And this looks sick. Three tracks. Just based on the titles, like, Played Upon Horn. Like, fuck yeah. Sickening Mutations, Summoning Blades. And just the art alone kind of got me interested. I just... And look at that sword. Oh! Sick shit. I haven't heard it yet, but I just... Cosmetically, sick shit. And I like the clear shell. You can't go wrong with a nice clear shell. Like, you really can't. And lastly... I am extremely happy to have this demo compilation. And that is Dissecting Glorification. We have demo from 2022 and Slurking, Reeking, and Leeching from 2019. If you don't know what band I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Reputeth. <laughs> Fucking marbles in my mouth. Rep to death is so good. And I know I'm fucking the name up because I suck. But that's because one of those bands I've never heard anyone say their name in real life. But, like, I heard uh, the 2019 demo when it first came out, and I just remember being like, this is fucking awesome. But then, uh, like, I never, you know, found a copy or anything like that. And, like, there's guest vocals by uh, Takashi Tanaka from uh, Anatomia. Just, like, and that's on the new demo, but um, I have not heard the Dissecting Glorification demo, but uh, Reptu it's one of those things I always fuck up saying, like Repudeth, I'm pretty sure that's how you do say it, the Repudeth, Repute Death, whatever. The pronunciation police are going to get me. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one because I have not heard the new demo yet. And I'm extremely stoked to have the 2019 demo. Amazing cover art on this demo compilation. Cover art by Andy. B U S U K dot I N K S six six six. Sick. He's kind of got that uh, ink lesion style. I really like the logo too. Very autopsy, severed survival esque. And I'm looking forward to throwing all these bad boys on. The only thing I really heard is this uh, 2019 demo. So very, inter very stoked and interested and malignant demo before this three track EP, I'm going to call it. But very, very stoked. Thank you, James. I'm sorry about any mispronunciations or anything like that. Got some gnarly stuff to go over, though, for the channel, and I'm extremely fucking grateful, like, and we also have, uh, uh, I don't, what is this, Resilient, The Art of Resilience on Stump Grinder Records, I have no idea what this is, but, uh, looks like a one-man project? Yeah, we'll check it out. 
I don't, I really don't know much about this. I forgot I even had it. It was actually right next to the latest Wendigang. But happy with the collection update. We got some gnarly stuff for the channel. And that's always good. Because, yeah, especially from Transylvanian Recordings. Because they were legit, like, the first label to support the channel. Like, them and, uh, like, MSUO, I think it was, were the first two that, like... And then band-wise, it was, like, Blood Incantation and, uh... Fuck, I forget who else. Horrendous, I think. I think it was horrendous. I know Pissgrave, just the boys, like, said thank you and stuff in person. And, yeah, yeah. But uh, Transylvania Recordings, since day one, have supported the channel. And we've been blasting Teratoma with uh, Purulent Manifestation as well as regurgitation, tales of necrophilia. Hell yeah. Definitely looking forward to diving in to this six cassette stack head first. But right now, I'm really enjoying this. But case you missed it here is the teratoma cassette cosmetics nice silver shell program repeats on both sides which is always a good thing and yeah we got teratomia rep you death i know i'm saying that wrong and i apologize Sulfuric Hatred, Vomit Rot, Malignant, and Ceremonial Decay, as well as res Jesus Christ. Resilient, the Art of Resilience. I know that sounded like that Wayne's World. Hi, I'm in Delaware. But now I just, I don't, I know nothing about that release. I just know these are gonna, I, I just, I trust Transylvania recording. Like 100%, I trust, like James kind of knows what I like and stuff. So like, I, I really trust whatever he sends my way. So hell yeah, thank you James for supporting the channel. And just continue doing what you're doing, man. You're doing fucking the Dark Lord's work, and it's great. I fucking love Transylvania recordings. We need some more Evolse tunes, man. That'd be awesome. Or like randomly dropping a like Kaffa full length, or some new Swamp Witch shit. That'd be dope. But. Thank you again to James of Transylvania Recordings, and thank you Maniacs at Home for dealing with my mispronunciations and nonsense. But um, we still have two copies. Come on, people. With the pin combo. I'm not in charge of shipping or anything like that, but like... I would make a move, because when that shit's gone, it, you know... It's gone. I kind of understand some of the hesitancy after some fiascos in the past, but those days are, are gone. And if interested, also, our uh, demo compilation on Vaccaro Blast Productions is still available internationally. Hit up the label, get a copy, pro CDs, no boof. No bullshit. Eight page booklet. Extra artwork. All sorts of shit. And with uh, Crown of Piss, thank you to Isaac from Born, from Burn Born for Burning, East Coast. 
for reissuing this on CD. So for all you digital fiends out there that, that you know might not have got the cassette version or aren't into cassettes, I know not everybody's like a tape person, so I, I get it. But uh yeah, we do have CDs and you folks wanted them and we worked pretty hard to get them for you. So it would be rad to uh sell them out as soon as possible. These are up on our band camp right now as well as the Born for Burning Big Cartel. I love the cover art by uh, Arctopi. He did a great job here. And you always got to remember, maximum volume yields maximum results. Kiss the goat eternal. So both the Cursed Womb releases are now available on CD for the first time and probably last time. I like sticking to the cassettes. But again, thank you, James at Transylvanian Recordings. But mostly, thank you, Maniacs at Home for watching. I really hope you also went and checked out the new Horns and Hooves. I can't get over how good I am the Skull Messiah is. Just absolutely amazing. I can't wait for the vinyl to arrive. I'm so fucking stoked. But thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails. <laughs>